why you don't hear much about Prince Edward. If you're born into the world's most famous monarchy, England's royal family, your right to privacy is almost non-existent, via medium. We've watched as Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, and his wife, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, left the royal family for a life away from the British media, and the lack of safety they feel came along with their titles. The British press treats the royal family like the tabloids in the United States focus on celebrities, per Reader's Digest. Every member of the clan seems to be fair game for the press, though some names end up in headlines much more than others. Harry and Meghan, of course, experienced their likeliness in the headlines more than most. On the other hand, scandals like the one attached to Prince Andrew also strike the interest of the paparazzi. While we have gotten used to seeing stories about almost every royal, one of Queen Elizabeth II's children has been able to avoid fanfare. The late Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex has been able to keep a low profile. But how could that be? The prince rarely makes headlines The late Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, had four children, via people. The pair's children most notably include King Charles III and the disgraced Prince Andrew. Princess Anne, the couple's only daughter, is often seen making public appearances and is considered the hardest working royal. She also recently became the United Kingdom's favorite member of the monarchy, according to a survey conducted by YouGov. These high-profile family members are well known, however, the youngest son of the royals, Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, has managed to keep a low profile. Although the British public may not see as much of Edward as his siblings, he was rumored to be the Queen's favorite son. In a documentary by the UK's Channel 5 titled Edward and Sophie, the Reluctant Royals, Aisha Hazerica, a royal reporter, shared, I think it's fair to say that he was very much the baby of the family, adding, he really was the apple of the Queen's eye. Edward preferred to keep himself out of the eyes of the public. It appears that the reason we don't see much of Edward is that he chooses to live that way. He and his wife, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, have made quiet, controversy-free lives for themselves and their two children. However, Edward does make more public appearances than many realize, he just doesn't attract as much fanfare as his more famous siblings. The prince was recently in headlines surrounding royal drama although Prince Edward may choose to live a more private life, it doesn't mean that he shies away from royal duties. There are many charities and public events that he and his wife, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, prioritize. According to the royal family's website, the pair have a trust in their name, the Earl and Countess of Wessex Trust, which helps to support programs that benefit children. While Edward chooses to stay out of the spotlight, he has recently found his name in the headlines. According to The Sun UK, the son of the late Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, has attempted to mend issues between his brother and his nephew as the coronation approaches. As King Charles III prepares for his coronation in May, the rifts within the family are impacting how the event may turn out. Edward has allegedly engaged in peace talks with Charles and Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. There have been discussions among the family, including Prince Edward and Princess Anne, a source told the publication. They do not want private conversations at the coronation making it into the paperback edition of Spare. Inside Prince Harry's attempts to resolve tensions with Prince William to quickly recap everything, because explaining in detail would take days, Prince Harry and Prince William have been at odds with one another, much of their conflicting perspectives having to do with Meghan Markle, the role of being a royal, and openness about experiences within the royal family. How things really stood between the brothers remained murky, but that was until Harry sat down with Oprah Winfrey and revealed all to the world. Not only did he recount experiences of declining mental health, but Meghan revealed that she felt suicidal, that their baby's skin color was brought into question, and a whole array of other grievances. Of course, the royals reportedly did not like it, and while many have been trying to save face, it's become pretty clear over the months that the royal family, including William, have just about had it with Harry. His big move to the United States seemed like a final nail in the coffin, but is he now trying to walk back some of his words and actions? Harry traveled back to the United Kingdom to accompany his brother in the dedication of Princess Diana's statue in July 2021, and he reunited with William once more upon Queen Elizabeth's death in September 2022. These interactions, and others, give us insight into where things stand. 
William and Harry reportedly began arguing at Prince Philip's funeral in order to understand the setting of Prince Harry and Prince William's reunion for the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue. We have to go back to their last interaction, Prince Philip's funeral, where all eyes were on Harry and William. Robert Lacey, a historian and author of the book Battle of Brothers, wrote for the Daily Mail that, despite any wishes for the reunion to go well, the brothers had at it. Those surrounding William and Harry, according to Lacey, had hoped that the funeral would bring the Warring Brothers together in an atmosphere of reflection, but things reportedly did not go well. After sharing a public moment together, William and Harry were said to have gotten into an argument and had gone inside St. George's Chapel, outside of camera range, so they could fight. A friend of the brothers told Lacey, the rage and anger between those two has grown so incredibly deep. Too many harsh and wounding things have been said. Philip's funeral was in April 2021, and Harry left shortly after to return to the United States, not exactly the best way to leave things. These social media clues give insight into Harry and William's possibly changing dynamic it can be difficult to interpret the ins and outs of Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship, so what is there left to do other than comb through social media for clues? As noted by Insider, things between Harry and William appeared to be getting a bit better for a time, and that conclusion was based on William and Kate Middleton's social media account. When Harry and Meghan Markle welcomed their son, Archie, William, and Kate wrote a very formal note of congratulations and used Harry and Meghan's titles, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. However, when Harry and Meghan welcomed their daughter, Lilibet, in the summer of 2021, the Cambridge's approach was fairly different. We are all delighted by the happy news of the arrival of baby Lily. Congratulations to Harry, Meghan, and Archie, the couple wrote on social media. Do with this information as you like, but it seemed to point to some sort of thawing between Harry and William. It also should be noted that William and Kate went through a social media overhaul of sorts, as noted by people, and are perhaps trying to show a more casual side of their lives together. A body language expert said Harry tried to engage with his brother in July 2021 after Prince William and Prince Harry's reunion at Prince Philip's funeral, the world watched with bated breath as the brothers came together in July 2021 for the unveiling of a statue of their late mother Diana Spencer. According to body language expert Blanca Cobb, it was Harry who tried to engage with William. When Harry would actually turn his feet to angle towards his brother, his brother didn't respond by turning towards Harry, Cobb said, as noted by Us Weekly. He was more stoic. He was less engaging with his brother. Cobb also analyzed Harry's hand gestures, revealing to Us Weekly that the younger prince was more relaxed than his brother, perhaps an indication that he felt as though he had the upper hand in the situation. Pointing to a very obvious position of comfort, Cobb said, Harry was looking more at William than vice versa. And you could tell also, because there were times that Harry would actually walk over to where his brother and somebody else was talking. If body language is anything to go off of, it seems as though Harry made more of an effort to reunite than William. Harry and William reunited for a meaningful moment it's the interactions behind closed doors that really speak volumes, and while Prince William and Prince Harry had a row outside of the camera's vantage point the previous time they interacted, the statue dedication for their mother in July 2021 included some rather heartwarming moments, perhaps an indication that efforts to thaw the relationship between the brothers were working. A source told Us Weekly that before William and Harry made their way to the Kensington Palace Garden to unveil the statue of Diana Spencer, they spent the morning together. William and Harry spent the morning before the statue unveiling looking through old keepsakes, notes from Diana and bonding, the inside source shared. They have absolutely turned a new page in their relationship and have started the healing. It may have been a rather wise decision for Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, not to attend the event. Not only has a lot of the feud between the brothers stemmed from their differing perspectives on marriage and royal dedication, but the British press would have had a field day if she had joined her husband. The source was quick to say, however, that all is not forgiven.